good morning everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and today i've got a shopping haul this is a morrison's online delivery so it's just been delivered there have been a few well not so many substitutions but more or less what wasn't available really anyway i'll explain as we kind of go along i'll start this end um so cleaning stuff etc i've uh, got this big max power uh fairy i have well i'm currently using one i've got a little bit left to use up um but i mean it really is good because it does have an anti-leak um this bit here sort of bottom where the washing up liquid comes out of and I find that with the ordinary ones I don't know if it's me just being a bit slapdash um, but when I sort of like you know squirt the washing liquid out um, the tops go a bit funny don't they you have to keep washing them down because they go a bit like glukey but these are really good this was two pounds which I didn't think was bad because uh, you got 660 mils here so yeah found that one really good and they last quite a long time as well um so i've gone for the harpic uh power plus toilet cleaner well this is the bleach um but this is going to be used obviously from a toilet um and it it also works on lime scale as well and i've had this in the past so it really, really is good sorry if you hear dogs barking so yeah got that one um so i've gone for the astonish mold and mildew blaster apple burst apparently um so you know i don't actually have any mold or mildew in my bathroom that that i can say that i can speak about but you know sometimes you look at your tiles and you think the grout isn't looking as white so every now and then probably maybe once a month i go over the tiles just give it a quick spray with this type of stuff not always the astonish one um mr muscle you know whichever one's on offer really and um, i do that just to keep them nice and white and free of the mold and mildew so i've got that one and this one the uh this is a really large size actually the value pack of the flash with bleach um now the reason i have that well two reasons i use it in my sink because i've got a butler sink so they can get a little bit almost look like they've got veins in um so i do like to spray that in it i know i can use ordinary bleach but i just find that the spray one gets in all the little nooks and crannies uh, but the other thing is our carpets if they have a stain on them or you know just something needs wiping up off of the carpet you can actually clean them or spot clean them with neat bleach um because our carpets are actually made out of uh recycled plastic and the color is in the plastic in the plastic bottles so it doesn't take the color out so they recommended if you get any stains then just go over it with bleach and just take it out so and it's absolutely brilliant i was terrified the first time i did it in case it didn't work you know um but it's amazing and i might show you that in another video i'll wait until i've got like you know dogs made some muddy footprints or something on the paw prints on the carpet and i'll show you right so that's that um the grease proof paper and the kitchen foil here um they were like a deal if you bought two together toilet roll so i've got a pack of nine um over there and it's fresh and tropical so it's coconut fragrance and then two of the jumbo kitchen rolls here then for the floor in the bathroom i just got these strong and thick the anti back wipes the flash ones so that's i'll just wipe the floor around with that um for a bit of personal care here um my eyebrows need doing they really need doing got so many white ones coming through now and i can't i can't pluck them out because i don't have enough so i'll have all like be gappy <laughs> so i thought i need a new one of these i wasn't sure if it would like turn up you know sometimes you order these things and they're not available but um yes it has arrived so another video to do to my eyebrows 
Right, let's go a bit drawer cupboard stuff. Um, dry skimmed milk. This is for the bread maker. Along with, there you go, some more of the Allinson's bread flour. Um, here, some Morrison's brown sauce. Uh, orange marmalade with the the bits in. There's not too many bits in, but you know, I like that. Chris actually doesn't like it like that. But I always buy the smooth one and I wasn't going to today. <laughs> you can just like go around the little the little bits of, uh, you know, what's it called? Pith. Um, cranberry sauce and some strawberry conserve, so strawberry jam. The reason being, I ordered a baguette to go with um, bacon brie and cranberry sauce. They didn't have any baguettes, so that hasn't arrived. Um, so I need to go out and get that. Um, this was part of a deal. If you ordered um, the jam, the scones, and the clotted cream, it all came in at a, a, like you know a really good price for like the little complete afternoon tea bit. I did that. Um, I've got the scones. I've got the jam, but they no, nope, they don't have any have any clotted cream. Yep, not impressed, Morrison's. Um, two boxes of paracetamol, a hundred of the small freezer bags there, and this, I've shown you these before, that we just take one of these every morning in some uh, fizzy water, so it's the high strength uh, vitamin C, the effervescent ones, so and they taste really nice, they're a pound. Um, rock salt, needed some more rock salt. I also ordered peppercorns, but they didn't have any. So I need to get those. Um, some wheat, bread, wheat breads, for, you know, cheese and biscuits or whatever you want on it. And some Melba Thins. Um, sugar, just a small cast of sugar. Uh, I just want to make a recipe that I've seen. I will share it with you when I when I make it. Um, Sensodyne uh, toothpaste. The toothpaste is quite expensive, isn't it? And both Chris and I have got really sensitive teeth, so we do go for like a really good one that is meant to be really good for for sensitive teeth. I mean, this one um, it says. Let me see if I can get it without. Let's see if it goes without. Going out of focus. Oh, I'm a bit wobbly. Anyway, it says its unique formula acts in seconds to quickly create a barrier over sensitive areas of your teeth. It starts providing relief from the first brush and with every brush builds ongoing protection. Um, and so it is, you know, for the relief of um, sensitivity in your teeth. So... Yeah, we went for that one, so that was that was a fiver, but worth it. <laughs> you know, it's worth it. Do you know what? The other night, I craved these. I said to Chris, oh, do you know what? I fancy a lemon puff. And I don't really like these very much, and I don't know why, but I really fancied one. I think it was like the citrus or something. I don't know. Anyway, got a packet of those. Uh, ginger biscuits, a pack of Morrison's chocolate digesters. Um, a pack of little mini soda breads. Uh, Chris's favourite uh, custard creams. These are Luke's favourite, the Jaffa Cakes. I did look for the uh, Morrison's ones, but they were unavailable, so I've got the McVitie's ones. Fig rolls. Um, these wafer biscuits. And thought I'd try these. I really like this brand actually. I tend to not have them very, very often. The last pack I had was Bailey's and it was delicious, honestly. This one is chocolate orange, so try those. Over here I've got some Nescafe Gold Caramel Latte. There's eight in there, 150 at the moment. And um, the Toffee Nut Latte, again 150 for eight. 
Um, do the doggies while I'm here. So three packs of these mini jumbos. Um, I do sometimes get asked why I buy so many dog trees, and I do buy a lot. Hands up, I buy a lot. Uh, but they're not just for our, our dogs. Um, if you didn't already know that we uh, look after dogs, we board dogs in our home when the humans go on holiday, and um, obviously I do clear it up with the owners first to say, can they have any treats? What can they have? What can't they have? All the rest of it, any allergies, all the rest of it. Um, and if they are allowed, then they, of course, have treats as well. Um, so I've got Olive here. Look at Olive. Olive's on holiday, aren't you, baby gal? Is you on your holiday? You go home today, don't you? Um, she knows I've got treats, so she's waiting patiently. So three of those. I got uh, two packs of these. These are the uh, wild boar flavouring. These, I've got a big pack of these this time, the carrot and chicken sticks. These are our dog's favourites and, you know, they're 100% natural chicken breast and um, there's no raw hide or anything like that in carrots, so that's all good. Coffee-wise, I've had this coffee before and it's, it's, it's nice, it's okay. I mean, it's not my favourite in the world, but, you know... The price of coffee right now, guys, it's ridiculous. The price of anything's ridiculous. But this was 500 grams for 4 99 We've had it before, and it's very, you know, it's fine. Um, at the back here, two cartons of the lacto-free semi-skimmed milk. Orange juice, I'm a little bit confused. I'll have to go through my list. Um, I ordered four of these orange juices, the big ones here, um, and I've got three, and then a just different size one, smaller one, so I need to check that out. Um, okay, over the back, some finish uh, dishwasher tablets, these were on offer, so they've got 70 in there, and they're the like the ultimate all-in-one powerball ones they were i think nine pounds for 70 which was quite good i thought um at the back here i've got four bottles of sparkling water which sometimes we have with squash and sometimes we have uh, to dilute the orange juice if we don't want you know too much orange juice people dilute it and of course with uh, these um, then there's two bottles of diet lemonade and then at the back here we've got some squash they've so got your double concentrated apple and then hiding over here is the double concentrated cherries and berries so that's everything on the table I've got sort of all the fresh stuff now to show you right I will go over here now get on with the fresh stuff shall we I'll start at the back Okay, right, so, uh, bacon and leek quiche, the yoghurts were on offer, it was 10 for £4 and you could do like, a lot of them were in the mix and match thing, so you could choose whichever 10 you wanted to, so we've gone for three of the uh, strawberry corners, we've gone for three of the red cherry ones, we've gone for three of the uh, rice pudding and then the odd one is just a uh, strawberry shortcake, I mean Lennox might like that when he comes round. Um, some Philadelphia, so that's garlic and herbs, some brie, which is for the French stick that we need to get. <laughs> Uh, some Brussels pâté. Again, this is another weird one. So I ordered three individual scotch eggs from like the deli counter. They have said that they were unavailable, but they've substituted it with just a pack of two, which is a little bit weird when I ordered three, you know, but uh, hey-ho, whatever. Um, okay, let's get this bit done here. So I've got a pack of red peppers, um, two lots of salad tomatoes, um, mature white cheddar, so I went for two blocks of 
white cheddar and some a juniper and black pepper beetroot. This is delicious, it's so nice. Grapes, we went for the sable grapes, I think they're probably our favourite. Um, bananas, the ripen at home bananas, the fair trade ones. Are these the fair trade ones? What does it say fair trade? I can't see actually where it does say that. I thought that's what I ordered anyway. I'm not sure now. Anyway, so they're the ripen at home ones. Uh, a cucumber. Whoops, then at the back there, I have got watercress, spinach and rocket. That's lovely. Um, these were two for three pounds, so there are seven slices in each. So there's seven slices of the um, peppered ham. And over there you've got seven slices of beef. A pack of the classic hummus. A uh, family pack of Dairy Triangles, so there's 16 in that pack. Then over here we've got, I haven't used this one before, don't think anyway, the Morrison Spreadable. So I go for that, that was 230 I think for 500 grams. Um, the only frozen things I've got, two of these, so this is the Brew City Halloumi Fries. Um, so I will get those into the freezer very soon. Um, just a small coleslaw, uh, two packs of the mini Melton Mowbray pork pies, then three of the large Cornish pasties. Um, get on to the naughty bit nice stuff, shall we? Um, raspberry donuts, so these are 69p, they used to be 50 dp didn't they 50p yep. until like all the price rises you know but they're still very worth it they're very nice they're the best ones i think um a pack of wonky carrots a chocolate swiss roll i actually ordered jam and vanilla they didn't have it so they substituted it with just chocolate that's, a, that's fine and some mushrooms um cheese scones you see it? Four cheese scones in there and a pack of the uh, Clarence Court Free Range Eggs. They were expensive but they are lovely. Um, these are the scones that came with the offer. So obviously we need to go and get a baguette and we need to go get some uh, clotted cream as well. Um, some strawberries. I think that's it guys. That's everything. So that is everything that I got in this Martin's shopping haul. I'll pop the price at the end of the video. Um, it was expensive, as all shopping is expensive. Obviously it's been pushed up a little bit by a lot of household bits that I needed, um, as in the cleaning stuff, the needed some more toilet rolls that sort of stuff um the dishwasher tablets you know uh, so that's bumped it all up a little bit but um it is what it is guys isn't it so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give me a big thumbs up like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one take care everyone uh let me know what your favorite thing on my little shopping haul was let's all get chatting Talk to you in the next one. Bye, my lovelies. Bye.